Hey guys, it's Teacher Dad. So there's nothing I quite like better than uh, the fall time of the year when you have the nice crisp smells of the outdoors. Well, speaking of smell, let me introduce you to something here. And uh, with that interesting segue, I am coming to the sponsor for today's video, and this is a company called EnviroCleanse. So this is their mobile air system, and so I was able to do conduct a test, um, which I'll be showing you the results of here in just a moment. And so I decided that I was going to do a test on how well this air purification system would be able to remove cigarette smoke smell from the air. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll talk about that in just a moment. So in order to test the quality of the air, I didn't want to just rely upon my nose. And so I was able to acquire this air quality test meter. And so this tester has four different modes on which it's able to communicate what it's detecting through the air. So first of all, I just wanted to show you this little rig that I had designed in order to conduct the test. So here I have a little Erlenmeyer flask. Um, here I have a little rubber hose, which I would put um, the cigarette inside. And then I have a plunger. So what you do is you would squeeze off uh, this tube as you pull in on the plunger, which pulls the smoke down inside of the chamber. And once the smoke is inside here, uh, this tube here was placed inside of my testing chamber with the EnviroCleanse as well as the um, air purifier tester. And so then when you would depress the plunger, it would push the smoke from inside of the beaker down into the box. And so when I conducted that test, I discovered that uh, with just one cigarette, it took all uh, it took three out of the uh, four meters all the way out to 999.999. And so it uh, almost it completely maxed out the machine. Now, as far as the size of the container, it was a high concentration of cigarette smoke in that small size. So this was about a 23 cubic uh, foot box in comparison to the size of a much larger room. And so if that cigarette smoke were spread out throughout the room, it would not have been nearly as concentrated. But for the purposes of my test, I didn't want the air to get through any of my rooms. And I was also able to test this outside in this manner. So um, I was able to conduct the test in an enclosed environment and able to test without any other factors coming into play as to where the, uh, the levels were at the beginning. So as I conducted the test, as I said, initially all of those numbers as I started running the air quality tester and I was pumping the smoke into the box, all of those numbers for the HCOH levels the HCHO levels, as well as the, the PM 2.5 and the PM 10, which are the particulate, different particulate sizes in the air, and then the TVOC. Um, all of those, as far as the milligrams per uh, meter cubed, um, dramatically spiked, and the meter indicated that the air level was polluted. So I began running the test, and as you'll see, the, uh, the meter went, started to go down fairly quickly, and it did take a period of about 10 minutes of running the, the machine on its highest setting uh, until it was able to get the levels down to what the machine considered were fresh air. So there was still one of the sensors that was telling me that it was at 9.999, and I had to continue running the meter for another about half an hour or so until it got that level down to a 0.5. And the part of the reason for that is because that particular part of the sensor, what it does is it detects uh, things in the air and that can even be down to the level of like odors from what you would get from a candle or other types of things. And so that particular thing was still upwards of 9.99 uh, for a longer period of time. Now, once I actually opened the container and smelled inside, there was still a smell that was kind of like a burnt or a smoke kind of smell, but it did not smell at all like a cigarette smell. 
And so I continued running the, the air purifier. I turned it on low, left it in my classroom overnight. And then when I came back the next day, again, there was still a little bit of that smell. Um, and so I left it over a couple of days. And then now that when you go back to that smell or that box, there is no smell whatsoever. And so within 10 minutes, it was able to take that uh, dangerous level of pollutants all the way down to what it considered to be fresh air. So today I'm going to be showing another video about my EnviroCleanse air purifier. The test that I had conducted a couple weeks ago was showing how well this unit was able to remove cigarette smoke from the air. But the company contacted me and they said they would be interested to see how well their unit was able to hold up to even higher concentrations of smoke. And so the test that I'm going to show you today will indicate a much higher level of concentration where you can physically see the smoke in the air and then how quickly the machine was able to filter out that smoke and also then how well it was able to filter out the harmful particles that are in the air. So you can see the visible smoke in the air here and it takes less than a minute for this to remove the smoke visibly from the air. This is a chart of the results of the test. So you can see in the first test where there was not as much visible smoke, it basically took no time at all, where the second test took about 50 seconds to remove the visible smoke. And then when it got to the unpolluted air, in the first test it took about two minutes, the second test took about 20 minutes, and then when it got to the fresh air, the first test was about 12 minutes, and the second test took about 71 minutes until it got to fresh air. And the unpolluted air basically means that it has removed the formaldehydes as well as the small particulate matter from the air and it doesn't qualify as fresh air until it gets to the down to the level of the TVOCs or the total volatile compounds and considers all of that to be removed from the air. So after performing this test, I was very excited about the results. I'm someone who's relatively susceptible to cigarette smoke smell, and if I'm around it, I can get headaches, my eyes water, and I have a lot of problems. And so I was extremely impressed that this machine was able to remove the cigarette smell to that degree. Um, not only was it able to remove the actual smell, uh, but it was also able to, through the filter, it was able to remove all of the carcinogenic and toxic elements that would have come from the cigarette. And so again, I was also impressed at the speed at which it was able to do that. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this pr uh, video and uh, you learned something and it was helpful to you. And if you would be interested in purchasing one of these units, I'll leave the link down in the description. And don't forget to use that code TEACHER10 to earn 10% off of your purchase. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, again, let me know. And we'll see you again on the next one.